main thing that comes up with older homes is the water piping that's in these houses. It's galvanized pipe. It has lived its life. It is going to be uh, giving very discolored water. The quality of water is poor. It also restricts all the pipes. So eventually we get, don't have any water pressure uh, going to any of the faucets or the tubs or the fixtures. So with all of this restricted flow of water, ultimately we've got to replace this piping. Uh, you can nurse this along so, so far, but then when it gets to a point that it's so restricted you just cannot function any longer, especially in tub and showers, we have got to replace the piping. So the most common thing in the older homes is the water piping. So we go in and we uh, give an estimate to open up walls, whatever's necessary to do the replacement of the piping. Today we use a plastic piping. Uh, it's a high grade type of plastic called PEX, uh, along with copper. We still use copper, but this PEX piping is superior today for water piping. And the average cost of a home is really not as much as a lot of people think. Uh, Repiping a two-bath house, for instance, is a four to five thousand dollar job. Um, we also have to look at the water service. That's the water line that runs from the meter out at the street to your house, and that's underground. And uh, today we, we use what's called trenchless technology. We have several different ways to do that. We have an, a, a piece of machinery that tunnels, it bores a hole underground and then pulls the pipe back. And then we also have these devices that are hydraulic in nature and they go underground and they thump forward and they create a tunnel that we then can pull a pipe back. Uh, so replacing that outside water service is also uh, very important.